Okay, so these guys have five pins that you can address in code. So that means I've made one fewer pins than you can actually address on here, but I think it should suffice for the, uh, for the proof of concept. So now, with Atom um, and Platformio, what I have to do is decide what boards I'm going to target um, for a new project. So since it doesn't fit on the AT Tiny, I'm not sure what I could, I could put it on. So I'm going to probably try and put it on the ESP32, and then I'm going to try and put it on an e, um, a uh, Pro Minis. Okay, so from the uh, new project wizard, by adding it to an existing project, I have added the build um, variables for building to the ESP32 dev board, which is the one that came in the AT, or which came in the hacker box a couple of months ago or last month, I'm not sure. And so having built it for both our platforms, the 1680 Mega 328, um, the, that's the Pro Mini, and then the ESP32. It didn't find an ESP32, so it didn't burn it to it, but it did find a Pro Mini, so it burnt the, uh, the um, hex to it. So if you had all your boards connected to your computer, it would flash them all, but yeah, it's... Uh, it's efficient. I like the I like the platform or platformio inside of Atom. The editor's nice. Okay, so it had to happen at some point. So this sketch is too big for the AT Tiny 85. I also wanted more um, more pins. Um, six pins wasn't I don't think enough. Although it might give an interesting effect. But I I wanted to get a few more because I would like you know maybe ten strips around the outside of a, a garment. So looks like I'm going to have to find a different microcontroller for the project to get two things, more pins and second, more room for the program. I'm using two libraries that might be big in size and that could also be <clears throat> something that's causing me grief. I've got my NeoPixels um, and I've got the fast LED library, which is um, also something that I'm using to uh, abstract for um, numbers of strips and being able to address an array of LEDs, which doesn't come out of the box with the Adafruit new Pexel library. So uh, I'll see if I can actually trim down the number of strips and see if that um, having that array being smaller might actually uh, save me some. That's where that's at. Oh yeah, and even when I take out the. Um, NeoPixel library, which actually doesn't need um, uh, fast LED as a replacement for NeoPixel. It is too big, 328 bytes. Okay, so that's a 328, 328p, and on the back here is a 5.0 volt voltage regulator. I couldn't even be bothered to check off whether this was a 3.3 or a, a 5, so I have to try and read that little thing there to try and figure out whether this is a 3.3 or a 5. But my guess is it's a 3.3. Um, I remember ordering a bunch of 3.3s. So anyways, this is, this is what we're going to be using. I popped out what I think is the offending um, NeoPixel, this guy right here, and I'll just have to solder that up and make sure that it um, it uh, it works. Okay, so it's worth noting that the fast LED library is um, pretty sensitive. Well, the timings inside that library are pretty sensitive to the ground condition of the board relative to the pixel library. So um, tying the ground for your power supply for the... It should share a common ground between your power supply coming in for the NeoPixels as well as the um, power coming in for the uh, microcontroller. Okay, that's a sawtooth. Now I have to figure out how to get a sine wave in there. But that's looking a bit more like a sine wave. At least it's a sawtooth. Well, not a sawtooth, but a um, zigzag? What do you call that? Nothing else.